Hey friends, today we are going to be doing page 10 and 11 in our Midwest packet, and we are going to be reading, I'm going to zoom in a little, about different attractions that are in the Midwest region. So we might be highlighting some important things that while we're reading. So if you have a highlighter or a yellow marker, that would be awesome. Here we go. The Midwest region is where we're going to be talking about first. The Midwest region has lots of lakes, beaches, city attractions, and beautiful green areas. It is the perfect place for visitors who like outdoor activities. Due to its varied landscape, there are lots of national parks throughout the region. The first one that we're going to read about is the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. Maybe some of you have been there. The Indianapolis Motor Speedway is in Indiana. That's why it's called the Indianapolis, right? The original circuit was constructed in 1909 and is a true landmark in the racing industry. The racetrack is home to the Indianapolis 500, which you may have watched on TV before. One of the best known races in the world. And I'm guessing you've heard of our next one, which is Mount Rushmore. Mount Rushmore is a sculpture that is carved into the side of Mount Rushmore in South Dakota. The carvings were started in 1927 and were finished in 1941. Guys, you could figure out 1927 to 1941 would be how many years did it take them to do that? It's a good trivia question. The memorial honors four U.S. presidents, George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, Theodore Roosevelt, and Abraham Lincoln. Okay, those are our presidents. So let's, the four presidents that are on there, we can highlight. Okay, our next one that we're gonna read about is Chicago. Chicago is the most populous. By populous, they have the most population. Okay, with how many people that live in the city. Chicago is the most populous city in the Midwest region and the third biggest in the whole country. I bet you didn't know that, maybe. So the third biggest city in the U.S. It is a center of national and global business and finance. The city was founded in 1837 and served as a transportation hub from the Great Lakes and the Mississippi River. Chicago is the city where the first skyscraper in the world, it's called the Home Insurance Building, was built. So they had the first skyscraper. Okay, now we're going to go over and read about the Gateway Arch, which you also may have heard or seen. The Gateway Arch is located on the banks of the Mississippi River. Let's highlight that. The Gateway Arch is located on the banks of the Mississippi River in St. Louis, Missouri. They have a nice picture of it there too. They do have some nice photos on here. The construction of the arch started in 1963 and was completed in 1965. Visitors can enter the arch. So if you go there, you can enter the arch and travel to the observation deck, de deck at the top. Okay, that sounds fun, doesn't it? The monument is 630 feet high and 630 feet wide. Very cool. And I think I did hear that during COVID, that's actually closed right now. But eventually, that would be a cool vacation spot to travel to. All right, so we've read about four different attractions. Okay. And now our next page is asking us questions. So you're going to need to refer back to this page to possibly find your answer. So I'm going to put up the next page. All right, so you are going to answer. This copy is a little bit blurry, but you have a good copy in front of you. You are going to answer the six, qu six questions on the top. You're going to select either A, B, C, or D, or it looks like we have some true-false in there too. So you need to read the question, go back to the reading, find the answer, and circle your answer. Then when I get down to this section, in the middle here, it says the words below are chopped in half. Find the pieces and fit them together. So, 
I'm going to find words that we just read about in our story, and I'm going to put them together. For instance, I see speed, and then I see way. And then I would write that word right here. So you have six of those to do. So find your words that fit together and connect them. And that is your homework for today. Thanks, guys.